Hi guys, I'm Chloe Maidley and I have been an active personal trainer and online coach, a health and fitness author and broadcaster for about eight years now. And I'm here to tell you that no matter how limited the equipment, no matter how limited your time, you can get in an incredible workout whenever and wherever you please. All you need is your own body. Your body weight will be your weight, so your free weight. All you need is a little bit of space so you can perform exercises that will really challenge you. And all you need is a timer so that you can do it at a fast pace, burn a lot of calories, increase your metabolic rate, burn into fat stores, and really get a great workout in. So I'm gonna show you how to work out from home with just your body and a little bit of space. I'm gonna give you a 15 minute resistance training and cardiovascular circuit. And once you know it, you can do it anywhere, anytime, totally up to you. So the first thing that I want you guys to do before any training session at all is to warm up. And a really good tip with this is to start from the feet up, okay? So the first thing you start with is your ankles, hand on your hips for good balance, foot out, ankle, rotate it clockwise, and anti-clockwise. Repeat with the opposite ankle, and anti-clockwise. Next thing is calves. So go into kind of a on guard fencing position and you'll find that your back heel lifts up off the floor. Try and push it down onto the floor and you'll feel your calf pull and stretch. Do this like a little bouncy movement with all your stretches. That's a dynamic stretch. And you'll have a really good warm up of every muscle group. Coming down into like a lower forward lunge will really help you if you can't feel it. Then we're gonna do hamstrings, it's the back of the legs. So this is really simple. Feet hip width apart, maybe slightly further. Drop down, stick your bum out and you'll feel that pull all up in your hamstrings. Again, a nice bounce is gonna give it a nice dynamic stretch, really warm your body up for what's about to happen. And the next thing I wanna do is your quads. You might need to hold on to something for this. If you have great balance, you won't need to. So grab your toes and pull your leg behind your body. You might need to hold on to a surface. Give it a nice little, again, bouncy pull. Really warm up that muscle. And again, with the opposite, this is what it looks like from the side. Give it a really nice pull. Right, then we're going to do glutes, that's your bum. So, Again, you might need to hold on to something unless you've got great balance. Ankle over knee, come down into a squat, push it down, and you'll feel a pull all in your lateral, which means side glute, which means bum. Nice little push down, again, little bouncy pushes. And again, with the other. Great, abs, now. <sighs> Hands up in the air. Reach up high in the sky, kind of suck your tummy in and pull back and you'll feel a nice stretch going all your abdominal muscles. And then lean to the side, and then lean to the side. And this is also a great time now to drop your elbow and pull it with the opposite arm and that's a tricep stretch. Again, little bounce. You want a really nice dynamic stretch so your body knows it's gonna start moving. And then we're going to chest and back. Open it up, hug yourself. Open it up, hug yourself. That's chest and back. I always say with stretching, think of your body like a piece of chewing gum. If it's cold and you bend it, it will snap. But if you warm it up, it will be supple, it will be pliable, and it will move with you. Okay, last but not least is your shoulders. So you go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And actually we should do your neck as well. So just go, look to the right, look to the left, come back to center, look up, look down. That's your warm up. Right, I'm now gonna talk you through the circuit, okay? So there are four exercises in this circuit, which will be one minute each. And then your fifth minute is your rest minute. We're gonna repeat it three times, bringing you to a total of 15 minutes, okay? 
That's more than enough when it comes to this kind of training. Like I say, you're using your body weight as resistance, you're going quickly, which is your cardio, and you're gonna have a huge impact on your metabolic rate. And I believe me, you're gonna be sore the next day. I promise you will be, okay? So the first exercise we're gonna do is a squat. And I've basically given you guys a lower body circuit. That's because the lower body has the biggest muscles in the body and you're gonna get the most bang for your buck in terms of calories burned. Also, I know for a lot of women out there, we really want to work on our glutes, which is our bums, and this is how you're gonna do that. So, the first one is a squat. Hip width apart, your feet, straight back. Bend just here at the waist and here at the knee subsequently. Come down into the lowest squat you can come down into. Push up through your heels, so you should really be able to pick your toes up off the ground. Push up through your heels and a little glute thrust at the top just to engage your glutes. Down, up, thrust. Down, up, thrust. That's the first exercise. The second that we're gonna do is side jumps, okay? This is really gonna fire your glutes, but this is a cardio move, okay? Which is great, you're getting basically two birds with one stone, okay? So you go side to side to side, Think of it kind of like a really over the top curtsy with some kind of ice skating arm movement up top and side to side and side. And I want you guys to go as quick as you can, but if you have to slow it down or take it a bit slow, that's fine. We all start somewhere and a lot of the time your body has to learn the mechanisms of what you're doing before you can really go full throttle. That's totally fine, okay? The third exercise is hip thrust. So, lie on the floor. You don't need a mat because all of your loading here should be coming through your hands and your feet. You push up, and when you push up, really thrust through your glutes and hold them at the top of the movement. Up, hold, down. Up, hold, down. That's an amazing glute and hamstring exercise. And the last thing we're gonna do is a jump and scuttle. So you go, jump, run back, jump, run back. Amazing for the thighs, amazing cardio. Those are your four exercises in the circuit, okay? Fifth minute, that's your rest period. Catch your breath, my heart rate is already up. That's exactly what we want. You're gonna catch your breath, relax, get, your, get yourself together, and then we're gonna go again. We're gonna do it three times in total. 15 minutes total. So get a timer up on your phone. I've got a great hit timer here, but really any timer will do. One minute, remember, one minute, one minute, one minute rest, okay? And we're gonna start with squats. So three, two, one, start. Hands out, hip width apart, straight back, drop, thrust. Drop, up, thrust. Good guys. Now remember, it doesn't matter if you can't drop as low as I'm going or as low as you thought you could. You really just gotta warm your body up, especially in the first circuit. And you might surprise yourself. By the second and third, you might be doing a bit more. Notice how I check my form as I'm doing it. Really important that right off the bat, you don't fall into bad habits. Really good. Drop up thrust, drop, up, thrust, really good. This is a great calorie burner. Like I said, your lower body muscles are big, which means they're gonna take more to fire. Really good, I'll check the timer. Last three seconds. Next, we're doing side jumps, remember? Okay, here we go. One, two, one, two. This is a cardio move but you should probably feel that burn in your lower body as well. Think of it like a side curtsy, with like I said, like a skiing, ice skating sort of swoosh of the arms. Whew. Really good guys, halfway through with that one. I'm just checking the timer as I go, so I can reassure you that this hell won't last forever. Really good, keep going guys. See how 
have such a slow movement when you use your whole body can really get your heart rate up that's what I mean two one hip thrusts you get a lie down I mean you're still moving but you get a lie down feet hip width apart toes pointed out thrust up with your glutes come down up remember what I said about Holding that squeeze at the top. Really good to get your glutes to fire. And for me, my legs take a lot of the heat when I exercise. So I actually have to work really hard to get my bum to wake up. Really good guys. Thrust, hold, down. Thrust, hold, down. Thrust. Remember to really use your glutes. One more exercise after this. It's gonna be the jump and scuttle. And then we get a rest. Good. Right, the jump and scuttle. You ready? Jump. Jump. This is another great cardio move. Again, you're gonna feel it really in your legs the whole point, burn those calories, last time I did these I ran back into the TV, so I'm a little bit nervous about how far I go back, good guys 20 seconds left I am checking it for you and then you get a rest. Again, if you have to slow it down, that's fine. Just keep moving. I don't mind if you have to go slow. Just keep moving. Good, four seconds. Okay. Whew. We're gonna rest for a minute. I'm suddenly very aware that I've forgotten my water. Ah, please bear with me. Here she is. Okay. See, I'm out of breath and this is my job. So I hope in round one, I have proven to all of you that you can use your body and get an incredible workout with or without the gym. Now, don't talk like I'm doing. Use this time to catch your breath. Have some water, got 20 seconds left. I love a lower body circuit, honestly. I love feeling that burn in my legs. Bit of a sadist. Okay, guys, four seconds left. Remember, we're going into squats, so feet hip width apart, hands out in front. Here we go. Drop low, up thrust. Drop low, up thrust. Drop low. That's gonna get annoying, so I'll just stop with that now. Good, remember, keep a straight back. Really important that when you squat, you don't kind of keep a nice straight back. And think about your glutes, your bum. I know it sounds weird, but if you think about the muscles that are meant to be working, they're probably going to engage a lot better. They've actually done studies on this and it's very accurate. Okay, good guys, got 14 seconds left. And then we're going into the side jumps. Oh, I'm feeling it now. Good, down, up, rest. Three seconds. Good, guys. Okay. Ah, right, side jumps, remember? One. Like I said, I don't care if you have to go slow. Go slow. Just go. If you want to pick it up, great. Honestly, you can go whatever your level is. I did these in a circuit yesterday. I woke up this morning, my butt was on fire. And you should be really sore in the morning. That's a good thing, guys. That means that you used your muscle 
and you've torn your muscle, micro tears, not bad tears, and your metabolic rate is gonna be through the roof trying to repair those tears. It's a very good sign. Right, now we're doing hip thrusts. Right, lay down, feet hip width apart, hands down, and thrust, hold down, thrust, hold down. Focus on breathing, focus on your bum. I know it sounds silly, but if you engage those muscles, you're gonna really see and feel the benefit of it. You'll notice how I can always pick my toes up off the floor. That's just me checking that I'm loading up through my heels, which of course is very important because you want the load going through the back of your legs, not your feet, not your quads, the back of your legs. Very good. Last one. We're going to do the jump and spattle. So, jump, spattle, jump. Great cardio move. Also for you, sportsmen out there. This is what a lot of sportsmen do when it comes to keeping on top of that lactic acid buildup in their legs, but also keeping wary of footwork. Because that scuttle back, something quite unnerving about it. Good guys, 18 seconds left. Nearly there and then we get another rest minute. Good guys, seven seconds left. Okay. Woo. Rest minute. Sit down if you need to. Drink some water. I've got one more circuit left. And I promise you, 15 minutes is enough. When you're doing high intensity interval training, resistance and cardio, in one fell swoop, my heart rate is way up in the 180s, which is high for me. Rest. Catch your breath. Drink your water. Calm. One more left, guys. One more. Really good. 12 seconds left. Try steady your breathing, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Really good. Two seconds left, squats, this is your last one. Feet hip width apart, arms forward, drop low, up thrust. Now guys, remember this is your last circuit, so in an ideal world, you'd be giving this one more than the others, 100%. What do they call it on uh, The Biggest Loser? Your last chance workout. That always really helps me actually when I'm in my last rep. My last set. Really give it everything. Good. Really good. Just keeping an eye on the time for you guys. You've got about 19 seconds left. Drop low, up, thrust. Low, up, thrust. Low, up, thrust. Really good, guys. It's your last round of squats. You've only got seven seconds left. And then you don't have to do the squats again. I promise. Good. Last two seconds. And then we're going to side jumps. Okay, are we ready? One. Again, you want to speed it up. Just go a bit bouncier. But feel free to slow it down. I know I've said it from the beginning. I don't care if you have to slow down. Just keep moving. Just keep swimming. Good guys, really good. Honestly, if you're still going, still giving it 100%, I'm very proud. Hopefully you can feel your muscles burning and your heart rate climbing. Amazing. 
that's all we want. That's all weightlifting does, that's all cardio does. You can do it on your own. Really good. All right, let's have a look. Last one. Good, hip thrusts. Your last hip thrust that your bum's sore, don't worry. And jealous, so I have to work very hard. Okay, thrust up, hold down. Up, hold down. Really good, guys. It's your last round. So as I said, try to give it everything you've got. Up, thrust down. Up, thrust down. This weird thing I'm doing with my toes. You don't have to do that. <laughs> That's a habit of mine. It's how I check my form. I don't want to teach people the wrong form. Good guys. I reckon we've only got a few seconds of these ones left. Give it everything. Great, last exercise in the circuit guys. This is the last one. The jump and scuttle. Jump, run back. Jump, run back. Remember what I said to all you sportsmen out there. If you can get your heart rate up, you can get that lactic acid build up. Men and women, by the way, I should say. Get that lactic acid feeling up, that heavy leg feeling. Get your heart rate up. And especially if you can incorporate little foot movements in. Mate, that's all you need. Good guys, 17 seconds left. I would guess that's about 10 more of these. Really good. Good guys, nine seconds left. This is it, give it your all. Big jump, shuttle back. Big jump, shuttle back. Give it your all. Really good. That's it. So, now we're gonna have a rest minute. I'm gonna sit down, catch my breath. I'm gonna talk you through a few cool down stretches. First and foremost, try to catch your breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Just a couple minutes of cool down. Toes up, feet in front of you, toes up. Just a little reach forward. That's your hamstring stretch. Really good, guys. Feet together, come in. A little leg push. That's your glutes and your hips. Really good. Reach up. Down, down, down. Hug yourself. Tits and teeth. Cross your legs. Deep breath. That is a stay at home, lower body, cardio circuit that will burn calories, burn fat, increase your metabolic rate, and for you ladies out there that want a big bum without having to have the surgery, that's how you're gonna do it, without weight. Maybe one day soon I'll be showing you guys how to do it in a, in a gym with a real weight section. But for now, that is how you're gonna do it. Well done, honestly, it's not easy. Give yourself a big pat on the back and whoever you did it with a big pat on the back, and I will see you again soon. Bye guys, well done. Mama, imagine if it